and there are thousands of uh, volunteers who put this whole shebang together. Now, I'm over here at the moment. Hopefully, I'm not flashing my knickers around in the process. But I am on this amazing creation, and it's been, it's a bike, basically. I'm sort of lying back, hence my uh, reference to flashing me underwear. And um, it is attached to this huge fan inside a cage, and my pedalling is actually making the fan work and cooling you lot down in the pineapple lounge. How am I doing? And the lady who uh, created this is sitting beside me, and her name is Nikki. She's from Sydney, and she's an architect. Hi, how are you going? Well, look, I'm really impressed with this. This is 100% uh, Woodford Natural, isn't it? Gosh, I'm going to have to stop pedalling for a moment. I'm a bit hot now. <laughs> Apparently, if you pedal one of these, if you pedal this contraption for 15 minutes, you get a free champagne. I don't think I'll be getting any freebies myself. <laughs> now, this is an amazing structure. How did you come up with the idea? Uh, well, we wanted to cool the uh, venue passively and we thought if we use people power, that would be the best way. It's just a great idea and I love the fact that, um, you know, it's holistic, it's organic. You can do a bit of sort of recreational activity, a bit of fitness to, um, you know, get rid of the champagnes as you consume them. You can just, you know, do a bit of exercise, get rid of them. But you've also put out together this amazing structure outside isn't it incredible, everyone? Let me describe it for you. It is a giant pineapple and it's made of bamboo lashed together. It's got coconut halves kind of as the epicentre of each of those cross pieces of bamboo. It's in the shape of a pineapple, palm fronds at the top, but it's got a greater idea behind it. Tell me about it. How did you come up with the concept? Uh, it was based on Buckminster Fuller's geodesic dome which um, in the 1920s he spent two years not talking to anyone and at the end of that two years he came up with this structure. Um, we talked with lots of people, bamboo makers and weavers who were involved in Woodford and we all workshopped it together and everyone came up with different ideas and coconuts and Buckminster Fuller and we just figured it out as we went along. We made a little model out of um, matchsticks and uh, that was how we basically figured out how we were going to do it. Now, the, apart from this wonderful structure advertising the Pineapple Lounge here at Woodford, you've got some ideas surrounding this about how it might actually be able to help people in third world nations who have access to these materials to help themselves. So what do you mean by that? Well, we're always looking um, for ways that people can build houses with local materials and local labour in a way that um, anyone can access. So bamboo, coconuts, obviously, are easy materials to get hold of. Earth structures also are really good for that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and that really it's trial and error with these kinds of materials, trying to get systems together that make it really easy for people. Well, I love the concept and let's hope it works and um, that it can be uh, expanded and integrated into communities overseas where they really need to be able to use simple materials and quickly. And I just think it's a great idea. Nikki, lovely to meet you here at Woodford this afternoon. Lovely to meet you. Thanks a lot. You're listening to ABC Local Radio. We're in the Pineapple Lounge live at the Woodford Folk Festival. I'm Annie Gaffney. Hi, I'm Fiona from Newcastle. You're listening to ABC Local Radio live from the Woodford Folk Festival. Now, our field reporter, Helena Bachkowski, went to Woodford a couple of weeks out before the festival began, as I told you. She was out here sloshing around in her gumboots and doing a fantastic job, but she was really checking out what Woodford is like for a festival volunteer. And as I mentioned, there are hundreds and hundreds of them that are the backbone of this festival, no doubt about it. Adam heads up the fencing team known as the Ministry of Defence. I, I look after all the fencing crew here at Woodford, and um, we have a lot of fun, and we do the do, and we uh, sweat it out, and get wet. I've been volunteering for four years 